Hey guys, this is an updated proper task guide for easy job part two. For this task, you have to secure the area around the helicopter at the water treatment plant on Lighthouse by killing 20 rogues. So here's a map of Lighthouse, and for this task, we are attempting to kill rogues in specific areas around the water treatment plant. But part of the corniness of this task is that you will kill far more rogues than is actually required. Just majority of the kills will not count towards the task for you for some reason. However, with my tests, I have found three different rogues that will count for you 100% of the time. Those being the two tower rogues that are at the front guarding the main road bridge, as well as the Gatling gun rogue that is on top of building number one. So I would definitely try to prioritize these rogues over anything else while trying to complete this task, just so that you can get to them before somebody else kills them. And then you won't have to spend as long doing this task because the way that the kills are counting right now, you need to prepare to come to Lighthouse at the very least 10 times just for this one task alone. Now there is the possibility of ground rogues all around building one as well as the actual helicopter area that you're supposed to be securing for this task. However, I have only gotten credit for the kills on these rogues about 50% of the time, so there does not seem to be a rhyme or reason to it, more so a luck of the draw for any of the ground rogues that you do kill which does seem weird considering you're killing them around the helicopter that you are supposed to be securing. And I will also let you guys know that there can also be rogues on top of or on the ground around building number two and three. However, those rogues will definitely not ever count towards this task for you. So since I have the map up, then I will just go over a few tips as well as go over the route that I found to be the most beneficial while doing this task. And so firstly, last wipe, I did recommend that people snipe across the water at these rogues in order to get a couple cheeky kills on the two tower rogues. However, this wipe, then BSG did end up buffing the sight as well as the accuracy of the Gatling gun and grenade launcher rogues. So I would definitely not recommend that, especially if you did kill the rogues in your last game, they will immediately lock into you through everything and then end up shooting you through a hill or, or a boulder or whatever. And so if you do spawn on this pride rock side, then I do recommend crossing over mid construction. So just by the school bus, just because that will give you some more cover, because if you do cross over where this road tees off, then they can actually shoot you. And then the grenade launcher rogue will try and kill you in this area. So that's why I recommend crossing a little bit further back. Once you get over towards the village, then you will cross down next to the cabins where you have to turn off to go in and get Jaeger's note for the hermit task, but just continue on down to the bridge or go through the water until you hit the wall on the outside of the treatment plant. Then you will follow it all the way down until you get a clear line of sight on the rogues. And then you will get the two freest rogue kills that you've ever gotten. And then you'll be able to kill the rogue on top of building number one. And also last wipe, I did used to recommend that people cross up into the actual mountains in order to snipe down at these rogues. However, now with BSG adding mines up into here, then I will show you guys why I don't recommend that method anymore. And that is the reason for this updated guide. So this clip is just me scaling the mountain, trying to get over to the area that I used last wipe in order to safely snipe the rogues that are on building number one, as well as the two in the front on the towers. However, as you will see, BSG did decide to implement some changes. They added some mines throughout the mountain mountain top here so that you can't actually jump up there and easily snipe the rogues as well as clear the water treatment plant so now you have to go about it a different way so the road i'm going to show you guys my pmc will be starting on the first bridge looking back towards the village at the large brick building so i am down below the village on the first bridge looking back towards the large brick building we will be turning around and running towards the second bridge then over to the water treatment plant and we will be passing by the cabins area which is on my right side here and this is the area where you have to go to in order to get the note for the jagger task the hermit so after you pass over the second bridge that we will be taking on the left once we get to this heavy machinery just before the blue fence because we have a decent scope we will be checking to see if the rogues are actually up in this raid and because they are then we will be continuing on down the road now if you do have a confident shot then you can take it at this point to kill that first rogue at the sandbags or if your scope is not as magnified as mine then you can run up just past this red car crouch down in between the truck and the red car and then take an accurate shot here so after we kill this rogue, then we will move up using this tower with the sandbags on it as a landmark in order to get ourselves in a good position to kill the far tower rogue. And it is worth noting that you guys can use any gun or ammunition that you want or that you're comfortable with in order to get the kills on these rogues for this task. So once in front of the sandbag tower, just go a little bit further to the area of wall that protrudes out further than the tower. And then you are going to scope in over top of the red connex just behind the sandbags. You're going to crouch down until you have a clean headshot on that rogue that spawns in the far tower. After you neutralize him, then you will run across this area until you see a blue barrel that is just in front of the red connex building. This is what you are going to use as a landmark in order to kill the rogue that's up on top of building number one. So to kill him, get yourself into a position where you can slow or fast right hand peek through this window immediately to the right of the barrel without exposing too much of your body. Those are the three rogues that will count for you for this task 100% of the time. So just a note, if you are killing the rogues at the front gate and you do hear somebody pushing you very aggressively from inside the water treatment plant, that the goons do have two possible spawn locations on Lighthouse and one of them is inside the water treatment plant compound. 
So just listen for his voice line and also make sure that you have a right hand peek and then be prepared to pre-fire on night because he will push you like a maniac. So I thought it might be useful to show a clip of me messing up and almost dying while I was doing this task so that you guys don't do the same thing. But since the windows are a little bit higher, then you do need to be aware of the height over bore mechanic in Tarkov and be aware of how close that you are to this wall. As you can see here, my scope is right on the rogue's head, but because I'm too tight to the wall, my bullet's not clearing it. And instead I'm firing directly into the sheet metal in front of me. So to fix this, you just do have to take a few steps back and then you'll have enough clearance for the bullet to go exactly where your scope is aiming. And another tip is that while you are trying to get into the right position to peek this rogue, if you find that your strafe is taking you too far, then you can crouch down and then try and strafe and essentially it will take half the length of a step that you are taking while standing up. So another potential situation with this task is that the furthest tower rogue could actually abandon the tower and be positioned anywhere on the ground around it. There is always a second front tower rogue, so if he's not up in the tower or dead up there, then he's definitely roaming around somewhere. And some of the locations are he could be out front close to the road, or he could be where he's located in this video, which you will see in a second. Or he could be even further to the right from where he is in this video, up against the wall that runs all the way down to building one. If he's not where he is in this video, then you could be cautious and then lob a grenade over the top just to see if you get a voice prompt. But just remember, you should always be cautious as you are checking for him because you will be on the left hand peak. And it is also a good idea that while peeking to be crouched down so that the Gatling gun rogue on building number one doesn't shoot you through the open windows because they can see you when you are standing. After you take out the building one rooftop Gatling gun rogue, then if another rogue did spawn up there, they can come over, jump on the gun and take their place. Even though that is quite rare, it is just a good idea to periodically check up there and make sure it didn't happen. However, if it does happen, and if you do kill them on the gun or just next to it, that will also count towards your task. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. And even though I am showing you guys this method of completing the task, it is not the only way to complete the task. You can still go up in the mountains if you are comfortable going up there and do know a way to navigate through the mountains without hitting the mines. But I was thinking that it would be too risky for me to make a tutorial on how to navigate the landmines since there aren't that many landmarks and I could potentially cost people their hard-earned kits if they didn't follow my steps to a T. So I figured I would just adapt and then make a guide for you guys to be able to do the task without worrying about being blown off the mountain. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful and did help you to complete this task. What you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily to either ask me questions regarding Tarkov in general or to potentially get some extra help on your task that you're unable to complete or even just to get some raids in just for fun. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week so if you do want to connect with me that would probably be the easiest place to do so. And if you do happen to come over to Twitch and if you want to join the Discord then just type exclamation point cord or Discord in the chat and then you will get a link invite in that way or if you don't use Twitch, then I do have the Discord link posted here in this image. We do have a welcoming community that will be able to help you guys with any questions that you may have, or they're always looking to play with new players. And we have been playing with a bunch of my YouTube subscribers. So as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and have a fantastic rest of your day.